Hello and welcome. We are stood outside the Lego house in Billing. Currently, I'm going to take you on a tour back through the park. Now, we're going to walk from the Lego house up to the top. Last year, I did it the other way, but they have done lots of new additions. They've got a lot of building work going on as well. So, we'll have a look at all of that and we'll just see how easy it is to get from this absolutely amazing structure. You can see it's very, very quiet still. Still breakfast time. I say breakfast time, it's gone nine o'clock. And we are going to make our way up past the Teddy Bear Art Museum, which is somewhere that I have not yet had a look at, so I will need to, need to have a look at that. We're going to cross over and we're going to take a look at all the, all the models and the statues and find all the ones that we missed last time. And now they have finished uh, adding in all the others with a little bit of a pathway around this time. We can get a little bit closer to the new stuff, but all of this has popped up. So when was I here? I was here in October in 2021 we are now april 2022 and all of this has come out of nowhere we are just over the road from the library for reference if you're wondering where we are and you're going to be doing this walk back to any of the hotels so we've just crossed over before we got run over this is the part that we're going to be going through so that might ring a bell from one of the videos that have already been previously uploaded so we're going to take a slightly slightly different walk up and through we'll go we will go this way we'll follow the follow the water up so this is one of the these are all the statues and monuments and things um lots of them are lego related a lot of them are also just art based as well and they've got all the all the skew codes in the front and all the information on regarding what each one of them are so the bits and pieces that are just to my right which i'll show you well, you can see just over there they are all the new big sort of statues i thought they were actually war monuments originally but you've got five five different ones it's got all the full information but it's not in english so i can't tell you what they are but they are looking absolutely amazing like i said they've only just recently been only just recently been installed a lot of people stop and take photos and everything with regards to all of these and they do encourage play and then on the left hand side just there that is where you've got your library and then you've got your more your more statues and figures now coming up and round to the right we'll come over to a bridge now the bridge will have the information regarding the, the plaques and plinths of these monuments but one of them that i did miss is just a little bit further up here um, and it carries on and it does carry on and come up up on this path as well so some of them i did actually miss which is quite bad and naughty of me last time i came in so you got one here from 2005 and there was a couple more up so we will go and have a we're gonna have a bit of explore and we'll have a better look at that one on the way back down again because i've got to go back up that way to get back to the hotel but you can have a, a i can see really clearly the university from here um, you should be able to see that in the background with the yellow cutting through the, the park bit and then we will be around the back of the tennis courts. I think I might do more of a, an, an exploring video while I'm here for the next couple of days as well and I think there should be, well, there was, there's not any more but I'm sure there was one or two other little statues and monuments to have a look at but I might be lying. I could have just made that up completely but we will carry on so you're probably going to be stuck with me now for about 10 minutes as we walk up and wander up we've got to go past the really weird and wonderful wonky bench so this might start ringing bells because some of this you might not have seen in the other video and i have walked past this a couple of times before but a lot of this is is relatively new with regards to the stuff that they've added and all the trees and everything that have been that have been coming in but we'll have a look at a couple of different weird and wonderful benches up at the top and then we'll just make our way straight up and all the way through but i did say in previous videos that they have made a massive effort to connect all the water from one way to another and it just goes all the way up so now we're going to make our way up to the to the top and it's beautiful sunshine it's going to be a really nice warm day today warmer than it will be in the uk but i've made this go away of just wearing shorts and you, the wind's quite cold in your face so i'm trying to walk quite quickly to try and keep warm so it'd be like this is this this is this, this is this get your bearings and then you'll 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 forgive me at some point i'm sure but we're coming back up by the school again so obviously the camera will be put to the to the left hand side not on the school but the school has the amazing uh the amazing play area now this is the bench 
it's uh, not something you would want to you would want to sit on. And then it's really well, really well signposted. So you've got all the different play the play lines, and it gives you the different distances. So you've got the centre, the land, the uh, Legoland campus, and the house, and it gives you two different ways to go. So you can take the long way or the short way. Which I think is a really, just a really nice addition and touch. So the bit that we're going to be coming into now, which is the main sort of heart of the of the park, and I came down this way just to grab a bite to eat. It was completely empty, but there's a, there's a fair few people sort of wandering around now. But we'll see if we can get to all the other all the other statues and things. But they've taken all the tree line down, which is by the um, the track, by the horse racing track, which. I'm not too sure what they're going to be doing with that because they've added in all the signs that was added in for last year which we we tried to hunt down and have a look for in the video um but yeah they seem to be they, they've taken it all down so you can see the hotels and everything you can see the tracks and things so if anybody in the comments below can let me know exactly what that's all to do with and what that's about that'd be absolutely fantastic but i have no idea why they're doing that i thought it looked really really private originally but um They've now, they've now opened it all up. But So we've just gone over the bridge where we've got the glass statue just in the back there. So where we've got this sort of clear bit through. You can see how where they've taken all the trees where they've got all the wood chippings on the side and they've put the, the track signs up, which that's where we explored and went to. But now all the tree lines completely disappeared on the right hand side. So there's nothing there's just nothing there when we when we get up a little bit further and look through you can just see the whole you can just see the whole track you can see where i can see clearly where i stood thinking it was really easy for me to get through to the hotel which clearly wasn't the case but that is just between that tall tree and the small one right in the middle there's a little waiting area with regards to where they were shooting around and that isn't a that isn't a i'm getting lost video that is available in the villain 2021 playlist um obviously this is now in the 2022 season so that's why i'm sort of walking back up a slightly different way for anybody that is sort of a regular regular viewer or wants to be visiting but they've got this chap back in now i've got a funny feeling one of these two were out to be repaired last time i came down so they have they have these both of these back in but they've tidied everything up tied everything up they cut a lot of cut a lot of it back so now that that's a, just a much more of a clear, a clear path down, and you, you just walk through. Whereas that was a little bit more tight last time. And then again, really amazed that they've just taken so many trees. And if you wonder what I am waffling on about, if you walk, if you look at for the, this park name, I pull it across the top. I'm not going to butcher, not going to butcher the name. I walk from the top back um, down and just do the whole, do the whole length. And you can't, you cannot see any of that it's all all really really built up so i wonder if they're going to be adding in like more walkways around the water because they've done it over on that bit as well they've they've done a lot of uh a lot of cutting a lot of cutting back and maintenance work it's probably for all the all the wildlife and everything like that but it looks very it's so so pretty so so pretty so this is the the popular one with a lot of people which is the garden woman which is a lot of people said it reminds them of their their own mother or grandparent um just digging away in the garden i think that's a really that's a really pretty pretty one if you were to come down here loads of benches loads of places to put your rubbish as well so you can just sit down and you can just sort of soak it soak it all in so where i'm sat now this will be the first time that i'll be able to sit here and actually see the horses race around but in the track itself they have loads and loads of people doing building work so It'll be interesting to see what they're going to be doing for this season. And if you are a local, please do let me know in the comments below exactly what's going on. Um, I just hope they're not taking it away and going to be putting houses there. I can't see them doing that because they've just put all the signage up. And they put all the signage up saying how long it takes to get to the to the Lego house and the Landia and everything like that. But they've got all the all the fresh cut wood chips. So it's only must have literally just happened in the last week or so. But timed that, timed that perfectly well when you come either to or from the lego house and if it's if you're sort of a little bit skeptical with regards to the timing and how blight is it going to be and so on i did say this last year 
it's really really well lit now within this playlist you will find me doing some walks at night on purpose rather than doing them during the day one because where i'm going to be i'm going to be in the lego house and the lego park so i can't really get out during the day in the evenings i will then film the routes that i did the day versions of and you'll just see how safe it is because where i'm walking now they've got loads of these lights look and they're all up this path and this is called animal fabulous and he's looking very happy and chirpy for himself and then again you've got more seating on my right as you come up and come come round and each one of them do as it does have a qr code on there so there's plenty plenty to sort of stop and look at so if you are into your sculptures and things it's definitely worth having a look and if you are into your horses that will be where it is in there they've got, they've got massive amount of skips in there so i don't know what i don't know what they're going to be doing all i do is i try and ask a local and if i can ask a local by the time because you can see there's a big big digger in there just launching a load of rubbish out if i can speak to a local or somebody from the hotel and ask what's going on i will do a bit of a bonus footage at the end of this if you don't get the bonus footage it means i couldn't find anybody and i was too lazy to find out exactly what was what but there's the there's the arc as you can clearly see that's what that's supposed to look like but we are in for a beautiful weather day but the people in front of me have got it right there wrapped up in thick thick coat and a scarf i've got a thin hoodie on and a pair of shorts never learn from my mistakes ever but it's looking like it's a nice a nice artery through today which is really nice nice to see a lot of people walking about and, and sort of enjoying it because i've never i've never done it at this time in the morning so this is a another one that i think i might have missed last time so you've got water water to the left and then what is this one make out whatever you want to call that one but again there's your qr code so you can just scan it and it pops up and the qr codes are clever because it links it to all the photos of what people have taken and you've got them in all sorts of seasons so you see them snow perfect weather nasty weather um but yeah you can you can just see how beautiful it is so we're now coming up to the part that that, that part of the white building is the back end of the lego hotel and we're going to be going up to the top of this path give it its due it, is, it does look very very pretty today got some more sort of statues and monuments up in the in the water can you see the two two stick it's really hard to see through the back of this gopro screen so that's why i always go if you can see it if you can see it then i watch it back on my computer i'm like oh you can see it clear as day you can't see a single thing so this is the other end um obviously of the of the directions and you can see how much they've opened this up now with regards to just having a different a different trail because this is a walkway that i have done in in the past and it, it was much more much more built up that way and then we've got some more um monuments just down here we've got some more seating and then we'll run up to the top and then we'll have a look at the back of the hotel look at the castle and then we will add in the entrances and then that is that is that done for the walkway through the park but let us know if you've been here before let me know what you think of this area um and is it is it a place that you would like to visit it's so calm on the on the wall on the wall making the most noise and uh yeah it's so so pretty but even sat down on these on these benches now you can just see how much more of the track that you're going to see so i can see i can see where they've done it i can see where they've done it and you wonder where i was seat or what seating i was using should i say it was all of that so it's stunning absolutely stunning there's plenty of people walking about um which surprised back to be honest it's the most it's the most people i've ever seen walk bear in mind this is the main artery going from the center of billing to the, all the hotels and every video that i've done down here it's usually me and like one other person but it's nice to see a couple of different families here and um, we'll run up to the top 
of this and we will have a look at the back of the hotel take a run up to the top as it's beautiful this is me trying to run and just over the top you can now see the back of the theme park the back of the La Castle hotel you can see also the hotel as well so all of this is all Lego it's all owned by Lego um, it's just a massive 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 thing I will try and come back and see all these lit up in the evening because they've got the the spotlights and things but they've got a you can see where people have been walking on the grass and it comes around and they cut through there and then they've gone through the trees two different ways and it links up onto the path and that path will then take you to the restaurant and the children's play area to the left and in the middle so there's there's plenty of plenty of ways to go now we will carry on walking up because one or two more one or two more bits and pieces see up at the top so yeah, it'd be interesting what they're doing with all the all the yellow flags and this is a well you'd be exactly able to see what i've been going on about now so all of this was built up you couldn't see through any of this so again i'm not too sure how much you can see on the on the gopro but we have a little trot over this field you can now see much more of all of this so i don't know if they're going to be putting putting fences and things in and what they're going to be doing with the rest of these trees but all of this here obviously it was just all trees and then they're doing all the work on the inside so they've the track is still there but i'm now determined determined to find out exactly exactly what that's about right enough about the track onto the lego stuff because that is what this playlist is all about we are going to go up just to the end so we've gone, you've only got another minute or so of me waffling on um if you want your bearings with regards to you think you know where you are you think you know where you're going on the way back we have got on the left hand side it is the castle hotel so you walk around the back of the castle hotel to the left to the right hand side is what used to be called hotel propellant that's now changed to the lodge i do believe um it's got a completely different name it'd be the first time i see the front of it so i know exactly what it's called but i know it changed ownership for the start of this year which i was going to book in there and i was speaking to a lovely a lovely lady there and she said it won't be called what it is currently through like booking.com and so on and so forth so we'll have a quick look and see see what that is as we carry on torpedoing up the torpedoing up the path so castle yep the lodge it is called the lodge so that is now the lodge the landia is directly in front and then we've got this kiss uh, it's got a, I can't remember what name it is ah give me a kiss see what give me a kiss is this and they just changed the they just changed the sign on the front to reception rather than with what it used to be called with the artwork and then we're coming up to the landies in the background big building to the back up there you've got the lego holiday village just to the right hand side where all the flags are that's now open and running so all these people will be going to the lego park now because well it's got to be getting close to getting close to 10 o'clock now I would imagine uh, what else have I missed or is that everything I think that might be it so this will be the last the last sort of sculpture and then we'll wrap it up and then I'll stop here and then start again for a completely different video um, hope you guys you find that helpful uh, I know we have some really good positive feedback from the first video that was done with regards to how you can actually get to the Lego house but I thought it'd be quite nice just to do it the other way around and you can just see how how nice all these sculptures are and just how easy it is but the weather's lovely oh there you go look did you hear we've changed our name the Lodge Billund so yep you didn't hear it here first but now you know they have changed their name so guys that's it um thank you thank you very much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed it hopefully you find it helpful but if you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff that'd be absolutely fantastic but as always Thank you very much for watching. You guys take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-da.